Hey there everyone, I'm here to help you make your Mother's Day card. So for this activity, you'll need the long piece of pink paper that I sent home. These pages were all together in one sheet and I've already cut them apart and I'd like you guys to do the same. You'll need a glue stick and some scissors and at the end you'll need a pencil and maybe some colors to color these little people here. So to start off, I want you to cut these guys apart. There was lines around the edges, so I just cut on the line. And we're going to set these aside for now. And we're going to work on the pink piece of paper. So I want you to have it hot dog way, so it's the long way. And I'm going to take one end and knead it to the other end. So I'm going to fold it in half, just like this. So now I have a little book, okay? I'm going to take the front page of my book, okay, just the front page, and fold it backwards like this, okay? And then the back page, I'm gonna flip it over, the back page, I'm going to fold it over like this, okay? So now you have a little book and when you open it up, it kind of zigzags like this, okay? And this is going to be our Mother's Day card. Now, for these little pieces of paper here, we're going to glue them into the card. So the first side, right here on top, we're going to glue the first page. The I love you, hmm, and we're going to write mom right there. We're going to glue this down. We don't need too much glue. It's just a little piece of paper. Try to get it in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to open the zigzag right here. So I have two pages right next to each other. And I'm going to find two, whichever two you want. They don't have to go in a specific order. They can go in any order you want. I'm going to do my favorite thing about you on the first page here. Again, a little bit of glue. Stick it down. And then I'm gonna grab the thank you for always and put it here. Glue it down. Ooh, try to get it in the middle. And then on the back, I'm gonna close my book on the very back. I'm going to glue the I love you because. All right, so now that that part is done, when you open it, you should be able to see all four pieces. When you open the zigzag, whoop, they're all here, okay? We're gonna leave it open like this so that we can go through um, how what you can write. So the first one, I love you, we're gonna write mom, um, because this is a Mother's Day card. And then down here it says written by, and that's where you put your name on this first page. Now remember, your pages might be in a different order. So find the one that says my favorite thing about you is, and I want you to write one sentence or one thing that is your favorite about your mom. Okay, some ideas you could write, my favorite thing about you is um, your helping. Okay, my favorite thing about you is your hugs. Um, my favorite thing about you is when you play with me. Okay, find the one that says thank you for always. And some ideas you could say thank you for always. Um, cooking dinner, or thank you for always helping me with my homework. That would be a really good one for right now. Um, and then at the very end, I love you because, and think of one reason why you love your mom. There's lots of reasons. You could come up with a lot, right? And you could fill this line full of reasons that you like your mom. But I love you because, and fill this in too. And then at the very end, 
it would be really nice. I bet your mom would really like it if you colored these little kiddos right here with maybe her favorite color, okay? And then you've got a Mother's Day card. Now, don't give it to her yet because it's not Mother's Day, okay? I will post on Class Dojo when you want to give this to your mom, okay? So once you make it, you want to put it in a safe place and save it for when it's Mother's Day, okay? Good job, guys. Thanks for watching.